Guys, what's up? Um, so, so let's talk about it. Curtis Samuel, okay? So many mixed emotions. I don't know if I flip-flopped and had so many mixed emotions on just a relatively, it's not really a big free agent signing. I mean, it is because we have no money and the way this year's gone, it, it's turned into a big one. Um, but, you know, giving a guy eight, nine million a year with this cap isn't crazy. Now, so, Here's one take. And here, this was my initial take, okay? What the F are we doing? Who plays in the slot now? Because Samuel is not an outside receiver. And, and I guess you can play Shakir on the outside, but let's just be honest. The best place for Shakir is in the slot. Come on now. And honestly, at Diggs' age, in my opinion, I think Diggs should be in the slot. Hold on, I gotta stop, uh... I haven't paid my easy pass lately, so we gotta do this by hand. Oh my goodness. I'm about a mile away from you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so. Man, I just lost my train of thought. Bah, um. Like I said, okay, I really think where Diggs' career is at, <clears throat> Diggs should be a slot receiver. Let's be honest. How many deep shots were picks thrown to Diggs last year? I just don't trust him as that type of outside receiver guy. I think Diggs should be in the slot. So we basically have our top three receivers are all should be in the slot. We also drafted Dalton Kincaid last year. And do you know where he should do most of his work? Yeah, in the slot. So, you know, that's my first impression. I just, and, and a guy who's never had a thousand receptions. I mean, I think Chris Samuel is a good athlete. And I'm going to explain to you why I think he was signed. I think this was 100% a Joe Brady sign signing. And you guys know how I feel about Joe Brady. But I think this is the type of offense he wants to run. He wants to be gadgety. He wants to run the ball. And he wants to run it to a plethora of different people. So now he has Josh Allen. Now he has James Cook. You've seen he re-signed his favorite backup running back. Um, the guy's name is, is um, leaving me right now, but our, the guy we had last year. So this is a Joe Brady signing. And I did not want Joe Brady as my OC. I've screamed it over and over because this is what he wants to do. And I think this is a waste of Josh Allen. Everyone cried the last two years about not having Josh Allen run anymore. The guy had 15 rushing touchdowns last year. He's a freaking fullback for us with Joe Brady. And that's what it's going to be again. So, so, and, 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 okay, so another take. I've fallen in love with a couple of these draft prospect receivers. I've fallen in love with these guys. And, and I would bet so much money we don't take a first-round receiver now. I know there's a lot of thought that maybe we still do take a first-round receiver. I think it's totally out of the question. I think we'd be lucky to get a second round with our second pick. We don't have a third. Now, there's a lot of talent in this draft. I don't mind waiting till the second. I still think we can get a stud in the second, but the fact at 28, I think we can get our new number one. He's there, but this signing probably stops us. And I think that's the biggest problem a lot of people have with it. Um, another take I've been thinking about is, <clears throat> Maybe this doesn't close the door on the rookie receiver. Maybe we, this is all planning ahead for when Diggs leaves. Because let's just be honest, the dude's out of here. I, I'm surprised he's not gone already. I really am, even with the cap penalties we have to take. And I'm going to tell you guys why, man. Diggs was unhappy in Buffalo anyways, okay? You know the dude, this is the last place he wants to be right now. He doesn't want to be a blocker on a running team. I mean, the dude left Minnesota because he was sick of Delvin Cook getting carries. So so now he's playing with his brother and 10 other runners basically now. And, and, and I just, where is our big six foot four jump 
ball receiver. That is the biggest thing I think I thought we needed to add to this roster after last year. Mac Collins is not the guy. I'm sorry, he's not the guy. So, so that's where you get people, you know, not liking this this signing. If you take the team away and you take all the the stuff away, I think signing Curtis Samuel at 28 isn't a bad signing. I really don't. Um, on the right team, you know, put it. Let's let's change let's change it up a little bit. Let's say yesterday it broke that the Chiefs signed Curtis Samuel. That would have worried me. I would have been like, oh shit, he's gonna be perfect in their offense. Da 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 da. So, you know. I just think overall, as a signing, I would give it like a C plus, B minus. I don't think it's a bad deal. I just don't think it's a very good deal. And this is Brandon Bean, you guys. This is what I've been, holy fuck! What the fuck are you doing, dude? Fucking retard. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Yeah, some dude literally going 80 miles an hour, just, I mean, no blinker, just literally cuts right in front of me. He's going to hit me if I don't jam my brakes. So sorry for yelling and swearing like that. But anyways, um, that was about the end of my, my points. Uh, go Bills.